Over the last couple of weeks, you've started to incorporate, hopefully, some leg strengthening and core strengthening exercises into a regular routine. Although strengthening is certainly very important for management of knee osteoarthritis, we also can't discount the importance of flexibility and just general level of activity or fitness. So now I'm gonna take you through some basic stretches that can be really helpful and also talk about different options that you have at home in terms of maintaining your overall fitness. Getting cardiovascular exercise at home can be a challenge. When we have access to resources in our community like pools and gyms, we can do things like swim and use equipment like elliptical trainers. However, at home, the most common pieces of equipment that people have are stationary bikes or treadmills. Stationary bikes can be a great tool. Some people will prefer a recumbent bike with a backrest, and some will prefer the more upright positioning. From the knee perspective, it really doesn't matter. Although, if your knee is particularly stiff, often people will find the recumbent bike is a little easier to get full revolutions. But it really is a personal preference. Treadmills are a great way to stick to a walking program since they take away the impact that Mother Nature can sometimes have on a walking plan. Many people won't have access to any specific equipment at home and will be more likely to just get outside and go for a daily walk. Sometimes though, if your goal is to really increase your physical fitness, a daily walk doesn't feel like enough challenge. So you can do things like increasing the speed of your walking for short intervals while you're out for your daily walk, or maybe at home you could do some walking on the spot and incorporate some arm movements or higher steps in order to increase the difficulty of the activity. You might even choose to pick up some light weights and incorporate that with your arm movements. Walking is a wonderful exercise that provides the kind of loading to your knee that increases the health of the articular cartilage and can contribute to improved symptom control in knee osteoarthritis. However, in the context of knee osteoarthritis, it's also important to ensure that you're not just walking, but that you're walking well. Walking well means walking with adequate speed, step length, and appropriate patterning. Walking speed is really dependent on having adequate muscle strength and confidence in movement. Adequate step length requires balance and flexibility. And to walk with good patterning involves striking with the heel first and pushing off the toes in each step. The inflammation associated with osteoarthritis can make the knee joint and the muscles around it lose flexibility. It's really important in order to walk well to ensure that we have adequate flexibility in the joint and the muscles. I'm gonna teach you three different stretches that help maximize the flexibility around your knee joint. To participate in this program, it will be best if you're wearing loose fitting clothing, comfortable for exercise, ideally a pair of sneakers or comfortable footwear. You'll definitely need a stable chair and if you have light weights or exercise bands, you may choose to have those close by, but they're not necessary for this series. If you're using a spring-loaded brace, feel free to adjust the tension to whatever feels best to you. Place a stable chair one to two feet behind a countertop. Stand facing the countertop with the chair behind you. Lift one foot up and place it on the chair behind you. Ensure you keep your body in an upright position and your knee pointed downward. You should feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. It is important that stretching not be painful in your knee. Stretching the thigh or the quadricep muscle is really important for ensuring that you have adequate flexibility in your knee for doing things like going downstairs. You may find that if you put your foot on a seat of a chair, that that's enough bend in order to feel a stretch in the muscle. If you don't feel any stretch in that thigh muscle, then you might take a strap and just carefully wrap it around your ankle and then standing in an upright position, pull your leg up like this until you feel a stretch in the thigh. It's important when you do that to make sure you don't feel any arch in the low back, nice and tall the whole time. Place a stable chair against a wall. Sit towards the front of the seat in an upright position. Straighten one leg out in front of you. Tip your body forward at the hip without slouching. You should feel a stretch in the back of your thigh. It is important that stretching not be painful in your knee. Stretching the hamstring muscle behind the thigh is really important to making sure that the knee is able to fully straighten when we do things like walk with our good heel to toe pattern. 
So being in this position, when you tip the body forward, if you feel a nice stretch behind the back of the thigh, you're doing well, keep at it. If you don't feel it there, you might choose to turn around and in standing, just place your heel in front of you and again, tip forward at the hips, making sure not to round in the low back. If that still isn't enough, place your heel a little higher and again, hinge at the hip to get the stretch behind the thigh. Place a stable chair against a wall with the front of the seat against the wall. Stand behind the chair with your hands on the backrest. Step one leg backward and put your heel on the ground. Keep the back knee straight and the front knee bent. Ensure both sets of toes are pointed forward. You should feel this stretch in the calf of the leg that is extended behind you. It is important that stretching not be painful in your knee. Stretching the calf muscle in the lower leg is also important to making sure that the knee can fully straighten. As you get into this position, make sure that back knee is straight and the toes for both feet are pointed forward. You should have most of the weight in the front leg and your body should be nice and upright. You don't want to feel like you're arching backward, but I often see people stretching their calves like this. They're not attached to your shoulders. No reason to bend forward. Nice and upright and push forward from the hips. If you don't feel a stretch there, feel free to take your shoe off. That'll drop your heel down a little lower and you'll get a little more out of it. Last week you incorporated your leg and core strengthening exercise program together. Now it's important to get that activity tracking tool out again and see where you're going to fit in regular fitness or cardiovascular work as well as your new stretches to maintain your flexibility and mobility. It's helpful to write down in your journal or in that tracking tool what your plans are for each of these different areas of exercise because remember it's important to think about strength, mobility and flexibility to maximize the management of your knee osteoarthritis. I want to congratulate you on all the work you've done over the last few weeks. It's not easy to start a new program and way to go for making it to the end. This is just the beginning though, so remember you can always go back and access those videos online. There are lots of different levels of activity there to try, so feel free to go back and reuse and retry different exercises on a regular basis. If you're looking for a more individualized approach, you might consider reaching out to a local healthcare provider like a physiotherapist who will be able to look at your specific body function and make sure that you're doing all of the exercises that can really optimize your health. <music>